In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Master Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the eighth lecture in a series entitled The Sign in the Number 19, and it's entitled Fractals in the Number 19. So I will show, brothers and sisters, with the help of Allah, God Almighty, in this presentation, how we can learn, how Allah teaches us from the Qur'an and from the sign of the number 19, mathematics. And not only mathematics, the best of mathematics. So there is a new branch in mathematics called fractal geometry. So we'll see how the Qur'an teaches us this field, but in a way superior to the knowledge of people. Now, to, so that you can understand this lecture, I need to remind you of a few points I mentioned in the previous uh, presentations. Now, Allah God Almighty mentions the number 19 in the Quran, in the last revelation of Allah God to people. As he mentions another other creation, for example, the camel, the spider. So Allah mentions the number 19. And he mentions this number as a response to those who accuse Prophet Muhammad that he wrote this book. They accuse him of this. And they believe that the Qur'an is not from Allah God. So Allah says that he will place people who believe that the Qur'an is not from Allah God, that it is the work of men, that he will place them into hellfire. And he, will, and he gives numerous descriptions for hellfire. Among the descriptions, as he mentions in the Qur'an, in chapter 74, verse 30, the following, over it are 19. So Allah teaches us here that the number of angels supervising the torment of people in hellfire will be 19. Their number is 19. And Allah says, uh, we can conclude from the verses, that the reason Allah chose this number 19, that there will be a sign in this number 19. That this sign, when people they see, when they see this sign, it will be a test for them, whether they accept the, the Islam and the Quran or reject the message of Allah. And also Allah says about this sign in the number 19, in chapter 74, verse 35, Verily, it is one of the greatest signs. So Allah is teaching us here that this sign in the number 19 is one of the greatest signs of Allah. It's a great sign. And I showed you with the help of Allah God, how can we learn this sign in the number 19. And it's very easy, very straightforward. When Allah mentions anything in the Quran, anything, he wants you to ponder upon it. He wants you to think about it. Not just merely recite, re reading it or reciting it. So Allah mentions the number 19. He expects you to think about this number. What makes it so special? So if we ponder upon the number 19, we see that it's composed of 19 units. So it's 1 plus 1 plus 1, and then you get 19. That is, this is the number 19. It's a, it's a summation of 19 units. And if we represent these 19 units with circles, we have 19 circles. And if we search for the best geometrical shape to place these circles, we find the one shown on the screen. This is the best geometrical shape representing the number, the number 19. 19 circles placed in this uh, form. Now, I said in previous presentations that we can think of this um, shape as a code. It's a code that Allah wants us to decode and learn information from it. And I showed that this simple geometrical form, Allah placed in it the knowledge of creation. Everything in this creation you can learn from this shape. And I showed in previous presentations how we can learn the knowledge of energy and matter and engineering and so much, so much information. And also I said that the way to decode this 19 code is to ponder upon the verse of the Qur'an, to go to the source, to the creator who placed this sign. And one of the things we learn from this geometrical shape, that, it, that Allah is telling us the story of creation, how he created the heavens and the earth. And we can think about this shape as, as it's, co it's composed of three layers. You can think about it as composed of three layers. The one in the center, it has one circle. The second layer, it has six circles shown in blue. 
and the third layer it has 12 circles shown in orange so how does this shape tell us the story of creation now at the beginning there was God Allah God Almighty and there was nothing before him and that is coded for by the single circle in the center there was Allah God the one and only one God not three in one not more than one but one God then Allah created the heavens and the earth in six days six days coded for by the six circles shown in blue then Allah created you and you live a number of years in this universe and that's coded for by the 12 circles in the third layer 12 circles representing the 12 months in a year so you live a number of years that tells us a story of creation now that's a quick kind of summary or not summary quick of kind of uh, key points I said in the previous presentations now let's come to fractals and mathematics and let's see how Allah teaches us from this sign in the number 19 mathematics and I want to remind you of something that when Allah teaches us anything in the Quran he teaches us the best thing not like you know as we are as we humans we are used to that we we build something then we build something better and we build something better that's not the case with Allah God Almighty when he teaches you something from the Quran it is the best thing there is nothing better so you get the right answer from the first time you don't go into this trial error technique so let's see how we can learn mathematics and fractal geometry and you will understand what I what I mean by fractal geometry in a few minutes so let's do the following exercise as you can see on the left, I, I marked the centers of the circles with the red circles in the middle. So I first located the, the centers of the circles. Then I connect the centers with straight lines, as you can see on the right. Just simple exercise, connecting the centers with straight lines. So we will end up with this shape, the one you see on the screen. This is the shape re resulting from connecting the centers with straight lines. Now, let's ponder and think about upon this geometrical shape which we, which we got from the number 19. You see that it's complex, it looks complex structure, but actually we see that it's composed of a single unit, single structure unit, which is a triangle, which is equal on all sides. This triangle, the, you see that the whole shape is, is built by the repetition of this triangle and being assembled together produce this complex shape so Allah is telling us here that's a, a, a main message here that a complex shape in the creation of Allah Almighty is, is basically compo is composed of a, a simple structure unit assembled together to produce the complex structure and to understand this more let's look at these examples here we have on the left what looks like a complex shape and we see that the basic unit is the triangle you see in red on the right we have the assembly of four triangles to produce a larger triangle so we see when we assemble the, these simple units we get larger units but with a similar shape if we take this for example with nine triangles as you want to see on the right you see it forms a larger triangle so you see something called self-similarity the larger structure is similar to the smaller one let's take another example here we have a structure on the left it looks complicated but if you zoom in as shown on the right on a certain region you find it that it's basically composed of triangles the assembly of which produces this structure okay so, um, here we have another example. Here we have the assembly of six triangles, as you can see on the left. It produces a hexagonal shape, shown in yellow. On the right, we have the assembly of a larger number of triangles producing the hexagonal shape you see on the right, a larger hexagonal shape. Here, again, a structure that looks complicated if we zoom in as you can see on the right, at a certain location, you see it's composed of triangles and hexagonals, hexagonal structures. So, we see, brothers and sisters, again, the main message that Allah is teaching us here, 
that a complex structure we can understand it that is composed of a simple geometrical units that units assemble together to produce the final structure and you will see the applications in a few minutes of this so we, one of the things we learned from the 19 code the process of assembly let me give you an example on the human body to understand this more in the Quran in chapter 82 verse 8 Allah says in whatever form Allah God willed he assembled you together so the verse Allah is telling us that he created our body by the process of assembly in whatever form Allah willed he assembled you together process of assembly so let's take an example on the collagen protein the, the protein you see on the left is called the collagen protein as the most abundant protein in, your, in our body and it's composed of three like three strings weaved together of amino acids triple helical structure now this collagen protein Allah assembles a large number of them to produce various tissue in the body here we have the assembly of three collagen proteins shown on the left the process of repeat is repeated by the assembly of more collagen proteins like that you see on the right and as you can see Allah assembles these proteins in a geometrical way exactly like the number 19 meaning that every three proteins they are assembled together to, in, a, in a geometrical form which is a triangle which is equal in all sides so this triangular arrangement in collagen proteins exactly the same as Allah teaches us the number 19 so Allah is teaching us the basic unit the basic geometrical shape he utilized in creation and how it's assembled together so as you can see that the assembly of this large number of collagen proteins produce, pro produces the tissue, the various tissue in the human body for example human skin this human skin which is complicated is actually the assembly of these small collagen proteins in a large number to produce this tissue assembly of other proteins as well but let's concentrate here on the collagen protein so we see brothers and sisters how Allah is telling us how a complex structure is made and his creation is made of the assembly of simpler units now let's link this to fractal geometry now let's understand what are fractals here is a definition from Wikipedia I'll explain it uh, fractal definition a rough or a fragmented geometric shape that can be split into parts each of which is at least approximately a reduced size copy of the whole so in other words fractal geometry or fractals that we have a geometric shape that can be split into parts these small parts they have the same shape as the larger one and this is exactly what we saw in the number 19 the larger shape we can split into parts each part is a, is a uh, is a replica or a similar shape to the larger one a property called self similarity here is here is just some examples here we have on the left a fractal and if we zoom in on a part of it those shown on the right we see see that the shape is similar to the larger one here is another fractal shown on the left again zooming in on a certain part you see that's similar to the larger one and this is exactly what we learn in the number 19 as you as you seen on the right sim, a small uh, part if we uh, assemble it together we get a larger one or a shape that can be divided into smaller parts each each part is um, it has the same shape of the larger one okay now after we understood this what are the applications of this? How can you apply this knowledge? Now there are large applications from this and mathematicians they put so much emphasis on fractal geometry as it's the next generation of mathematics it is the kind of the new kind of um, invention in mathematics which Allah teaches us in the Quran in a matter of minutes now I'll give one application and you can see the vast kind of importance of this topic let me show you this, uh, this example 
as you can see on the left, here we have a shape. Suppose that I want to save the information about this shape. I want to save it to my computer, for example, or send it by email to somebody else. I want to save this information and to, for example, to produce this shape at another location. The conventional way, which is done now, is that we can we locate each and every point in the structure and we assign coordinates to that to these points like x1 y1 x2 y2 like you see on the right the disadvantage of this is that we end up with huge file file sizes as we have now for example you want to save an image or a picture you find megabytes and gigabytes of of uh, file of file size which is difficult to store and difficult to send what Allah is teaching us from the Quran, instead of this, from fractals, if we understand the simplest shape in the structure, and we put an equation for it, as you can see on the right, a very simple equation. Now, if this equation is run, we put it in a, in a loop, and we run this equation, we can draw the shape. So instead of locating each and every point the shape, if we know that it's composed of a simple shape, we put the equation for the simple simple shape, and we run it in a loop that will repeat itself, we can produce the structure again. So you have the choice. Would you prefer saving the information in the, in the format shown on the left of putting so many points, or using fractals and what you learn from the Quran that we can simplify the structure by knowing its simplest shape, because everything in creation Allah created in this process, simple shape, repeated together to produce the complex structure. And sending, would you prefer sending this simple equation shown on the right to produce the shape? Now, the one of the main advantages of this, that instead of having gigabyte sizes of files for files, we have maybe kilobytes or bytes even, or smaller. So we see the, the kind of one, one, this is a very kind of uh, simple, uh, simple example to understand. There are a lot of examples. So we see, brothers and sisters, how Allah teaches us this knowledge from the Quran in a matter of minutes, which took people years of years to discover. And one of the main reasons why people, why Muslims are in this backward state is because they deserted the Quran. They, they don't think about it. They read it, but they don't think about it. They didn't ponder upon it to understand it. So we need brothers and sisters to ponder upon the Quran, to understand it and implement it. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com and you can email me at zquran at gmail.com and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.